what up guys thank you for hitting me up once again and you know we are one color of the long journey i hope you understand thank you for giving me 100 subscribers all right so it is left with how many how many nine oh 900 guys it is not easy 900 is not easy so don't forget to smash the subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment and don't forget to share i hope you get it yeah so yes today my main thing is um what i'll be doing today is burning when you say burning what is burning burning simply means um copying files or videos okay or document from a computer onto a cd which is compact disc or a dvd digital video disc so we want to burn um this file zuma and we want to burn this file also which is zuma the reason why um we have these two files is one we have two ways in burning the first one is you can use application okay to burn example is power iso which is this one it's an application purposely used for burning okay and that this application is complex it does mean it not only burning it also does bootable and stuff i'll i'll, I'll get I'll, I'll 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 do that in another video but um it it also does burning we have um a shampoo which also it's an uh, application for burn it's one of the most popular burning applications okay power iso is also popular i don't know if your country but in ghana it's one of the most popular burning apps all right so yes um today we'll be using power iso to burn which um i'll teach you or i'll also be using the microsoft feature okay microsoft feature if i say microsoft feature um we also have copy and paste method you can also drag um, your files into the cd as burning which is shortcut but like when they say burning they've made it too complex to extend that it is some it's, it sounds some way okay but it's a simple it's just like putting a pen drive in your computer and you copy and paste yeah it's just simple like that but today i'll teach you how to use the application with the power which is power iso then i'll teach you the windows feature i hope you understand so i hope you tune up <laughs> all right let's continue <laughs> you if you want to download the power iso i'll put the link in the description below but beware that those who are writing um elective uh, ict in shs and those who are um writing abc gbc and our work, you people will do the second step okay yes which is the copy and paste method which is simple or if uh, some application is given to you, you can also use and um, this application that i'm using so i'm just hoping that you understand the two of them okay uh -huh. so yes let's continue yeah so guys okay, so this is the dvd uh, the cd i bought let me try and remove it so try not to go to the edges okay yeah, so yeah here it is this is how it is which is an uh, empty disc okay yes with a shiny stuff there's no scratches but later i realized that um the pc is what cd a uh, dvd instead of cd so i went to go and buy empty disc which was cd which is not picking um the, the wrong okay yes because the wrong type is um dvd not cd so one of this is um uh, one cd i bought two copies which is this i bought two copies so uh, in us dollars it is um 0 0.17 US dollars, 0.17 US dollars, yeah. So yes, I don't know of your country. So in Ghana, it is um, uh, it is one Ghana cities. I hope you understand. Yeah. So let me continue from here. Yeah. So guys, this is how the DVD looks like. This is how the DVD looks like. You see right there. Yeah. I I was having one. Okay. In in, in my boxes. Okay. Yes. So yes. And so luckily it 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 was working. It was working. But the CD isn't working. It, it, it is not that it's a sport, it's not sport, but like it doesn't, it, it is not compatible with um CD ROM. I hope you understand. Yeah, and DVD ROM, yeah, I have DVD ROM, which is this one. It is not compatible with this ROM because this ROM is made for DVD, not CD. So, the first thing you have to do is um, you go to use this PC, then you come right here, and here, here, my uh, it says DVD, okay, yeah, others are CD, but mine is DVD, so come right here, right click. I'm going to eject. So you go ahead and place it in like that. Okay. Like that, like that. Let's push it in. Okay, guys, do you see the light blinking? Yeah, so that's the light blinking. Okay. Yeah, so um anytime you insert uh, like a DVD or a CD. In a, a in a room, okay. The light will be blinking. Okay. Yes, that's called the CD room. The thing I inserted the CD in it. It's called a CD room. Okay. Alright. So let's continue. So I'm I'm opening my power ISO. And yes. So this is our power ISO. 
and where you have to um, hit is continue unregistered i've not registered they need money to um, register this application but master nice now now so yes so when you open the power so you could see um we have what we call burn over here okay and we have what we call tools and hit burn okay we have plenty of options of um erase that means you are going to erase whatever is on the um it's on the um dvd or cd i hope you understand but the reason why we are using power iso is because we can't burn something with power iso if the application is not power iso all right so if i do um, the example you understand so yes let me um open my power iso then go to tools then go to burn the dialog box will appear then move um the mouse pointer to um image files okay so we are going to select the file that we want to burn okay so go ahead and select that and you can see yes we have um zoomer and zoomer right so let's go ahead and select one and click on okay and you see yes um it is not because it is not in power iso all the files we have hidden files in it but guys watch this if i go right here and move um, um to all files which is this one and hit on it you can see that some additional files are added so assuming you know nothing about burning and you do something like this you you end up messing up the files and well if you go ahead and um copy all this it's it can't even copy it's kind of it is impossible unless you burn them one by one one by one which can't be possible so guys that's that's why um we use um the, the zip file which is the power iso file i hope you understand so go ahead and select the power iso file if you are using a power iso software or a zip file i don't know if you get it i'll teach you more about zip file in another video if i bring it in this video to confuse you all right so i'll go ahead and select the power iso file then click on open and boom yes what happens it has opened so burning the uh, drive so we all know that this is our um our drive which is let me go to this pc we all know that this is our drive right yes and yes that is it over here i hope you get it or, or, you, or you can click on refresh okay uh -huh. is it burning speed the burning speed should be at maximum um verify everything data you can also click on the verify it is click on burn It has finished burning. Guys, let's go ahead and open it. It is loading. Yeah, so you can see our zoomer right here. Go ahead and open it. Yeah, so this is our zoomer and that is our game, right? So this is how we burn. Okay, on the CD. I hope you understand. Alright. Okay, so let's try and burn the other one. Oh, well, guys, you can use this second step. You go ahead and copy copy then copy on this pc then go to this one and paste so it is pasting all right guys so it says keep uh, so let's just hit yes because uh, they are all zoom zoom okay yeah, so let's just hit um replace okay let's yes, i need to replace the file i hope you understand because so let's go ahead and open the dvd okay since um they are all zoom zoom okay it's it's compressed then we want file okay then let's try and open it okay guys let, let me go and delete the original zoom on the pc and yeah leave the one on the so let's go ahead and delete this one let me delete it permanently okay are you sure you want to permanently delete yes yes uh, once i have them on the cd I don't need them anymore. Yes, I want to delete them. So I, 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 I've deleted them. Oh, this one. This one. Let me try and skip. So yeah, let me delete this file. It's saying something, something. Let me close. Ah, okay, okay. Let me delete it again. Oh, and it deleted. Yeah, I left one file open. So yes, I've deleted them. But guess what? I have it on the CD. So let's go ahead and open the cd and let's play the game and let's see if it'll work right now i don't have any zoomer on the pc anymore but i'll burn it on the cd let's go ahead and open it on the cd this is working on it right yes so guys we still have it on the uh, cd okay we still have it on the cd so let's go ahead and play the game so this is the game right let's go ahead and play zoom up guys enjoy me playing
guys so i hope you enjoyed it i played it on, it on the cd i hope you enjoyed it yeah is it still on the cd there it is there it is cd and yeah it is responding to the cd this is not a lie i burned it by using the copy and paste method or by um burning it but i think like using an application to burn is a waste of time so guys you should use the copy and paste method it's simple like simple just copy and open the and paste it inside like it's simple so guys yes i hope you enjoyed this video um thank you all again thank you all once again for 100 subscribers yeah i'll try and upload more i'll try and put my possible best okay to do more videos on um, um to teach you guys okay what i know the little that i know okay yeah don't forget to like the the, the like button <laughs> don't forget to like the like button and subscribe the subscribe button and share the share button all right bye <laughs>